Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. So this week I wanted to go into a little bit more of knitting needles themselves. I know last week we talked about um, just kind of what you need to get yourself started in terms of how to knit, uh, first projects, etc. So um, I wanted to just take a video to go into the different kinds of knitting needles a little bit more just because there are some variation variations to them so I just wanted to kind of take a look and uh, show you some variety and kind of what they're for so last week, last week um, there is kind of that straight needle um, that we see a lot with a lot of knitters where it is just kind of um, a straight you have two needles um, now most like all of the needles I'm gonna be showing you today do come in uh, bamboo and metal um, now like I mentioned last week there's they're pretty similar the only thing at least that I found difference between metal versus bamboo or wood is that the metals tends to be much more slippery than the bamboo so just kind of personal preference for that but um, these straight needles do also come in a longer um, style so that way instead of kind of like a 12 inch there's like a 16 or 20 inch needle which is nice which is used more for blankets um these you can't really get enough sti uh, stitches on for blankets so this is usually for smaller projects like scarves shawls and the like um there are some patterns that will do like for hat patterns that you can do on a straight needle that you would have to kind of sew together once you're done so that's another variation but i just wanted to showcase Kind of your um, usual needles. And again, these are just eight needles, which are kind of right in the middle. But also there are different sizes. Um, for instance, I just wanted to show um, one of the small, smallest needles that I have. Um, these go down to just over three millimeters, which is super tiny, um, as you can see. So, you know and they go down a little bit skinnier than this um, in terms of width. Now what these needles are for um, are more for like lace patterns. Um, we will get into yarn in a different vid video later on in terms of yarn weights and what to use, or at least some suggestions to use for different patterns. But a lot of this, um, these needles, they are so skinny, are good for stuff like lace patterns or sock patterns but also if you want to get a real intricate pattern you're gonna go with a little bit of a skinnier needle just because with skinnier yarn and needles you can get the intricate patterns which are very decorative which are very pretty um, but also the one downside of having such a uh, skinny needle is that it does take a while to um, knit something up because the stitches um, are so small that it just takes a lot more rows to get like a foot done than with like the eight millimeters that we saw before. So just keep that in mind with smaller needles. Um, so, but also on the other end, just want to showcase some of the bigger needles that I have. Um, dun dun dun. Uh, so yeah, these are the biggest needles that I have right now. Not the biggest, um, but these are 25 millimeters. Uh, size needles now most of these bigger size are for super chunky yarn um you don't really use any like lace weight or sock weight yarn with these um you use super chunky or chunky yarn um with these just because the these are not really used for in intricate patterns like the skinner needles are uh these are going to be bigger stitches so if you do some pattern with it it won't necessarily show up as well as some skinnier yarns or skinnier needles. Um, but also if you use very skinny yarn on this, you're going to have a lot of holes in it, okay? So it will be very see-through. Um, sometimes that's kind of what you want in terms of what you're going for. But just keep that in mind as you get with bigger and bigger gauge needles, uh, with smaller yarn, it will be very holy and kind of see-through-y. Uh, just to... So as something to keep in the back of your mind when you're looking for patterns or to make adjustments for something or trying to create a new pattern. Uh, but also another difference is, is these are circular needle, 
needles. Um, as you can see, these are attached. Now, again, these also have different um, length of tubing or wire in between the two. Now, the, a lot of the circular needles, what happens is that these are great for socks um, and for hats. Not necessarily this big of tubing, there is kind of like shorter ones, but that's what we'll uh, use is a lot of hat patterns uh, and sock patterns will call for circular needles. But um, also something very nifty for these circular needles is that they're great for large blankets because you can get just so many stitches on this um, that it, it's great for bigger projects like blankets. I'm currently working on a blanket right now where I'm doing, I've gotten the body of it done. I'm doing the edging and it called for me to pick up about five, 600 stitches around the edge of it for my edging. I use a circular needle because I got all the stitches on that needle. I knew it's not cramped. It's not fighting for it, the stitches to fall off. I'll actually put a picture over here of the pack of the scarf with all the stitches on it just so you can kind of get why someone would use a circular needle for a blanket which are super nifty so definitely it's good to have one or two of these around just in case you want them um, another type of knitting needle uh, we're actually going to go with something a little bit different uh, we're going to go with double edge needles now most double edge are going to be kind of of this length uh, just because these also are good for hats or, uh, hats or socks. Especially when you get down to what decreasing and you only have three different stitches left. What you can do, most of these double pointed needles will come in a four or five pack. So that way um, a lot of patterns for socks or hats will call for three or four needles. You put like 10, 15 on each. That way you can do another way of doing that circular knit knitting, but without the cable, um, which is very cool. It does take a little bit of practice to get the hang of these, but once you get that first couple of inches done for the project, it becomes much easier. So I'll maybe in the future I will do a video um, on how to use these because they are a little bit tricky, but not to be afraid of. Definitely try and use socks and double pointed needles. Um, there, you will love them in the end, especially if you like socks and hats. Um, so there is one more that I, uh, set of needles that I, I don't have on me. But I just wanted to mention is interchangeable needles, um, which are pretty cool. But usually, what it is is that they're much pricier because what it is is that usually start at around $70, $80. I'm gonna try and find a picture of it and so that way you guys are know what I, I'm talking about. This is a set of needles um, that usually what you will find is um, they will have a bunch of like different size knitting uh, tips so that way you can screw usually now it's screw on screw off knitting tips so that way you have an entire set of needles and also they will have different size ca uh, lengths of cable on them so way, that way you can choose what you, um, you're working on they're pretty nifty in case you want a full set and they're very nice they're just pricey so they're worth taking a look at and especially if you're an avid knitter um, because it makes a great travel kit so that way wherever you go you have your full set of needles so that way whatever you're working on you have that set um, so that's kind of my rundown of different needles. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, I will try to answer them. And I will see you next week. Bye.